the coronavirus quickly spreading across the globe, and now Italy is putting part of its country on lockdown. In Decision 2020, the Democratic presidential candidates fan out across Michigan ahead of Tuesday's all-important primary. And taking a look outside, temperatures will be reaching the 50s today, but it's going to be a bit breezy. Good morning, I'm Joseph Ferguson, and thanks for joining us for Local 4 News today. If you're driving through Oakland County this weekend, you'll need to find your way around I-75 as it's closed. Both directions of I-75 are closed from 8 Mile to Square Lake Road. MDOT says you can use Woodward as a detour. Two lanes of the freeway in both directions will reopen between Adams and 8 Mile by 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. The global impact of the coronavirus is growing and emergency measures are being taken. Italy's government has announced a lockdown of over 16 million people in several regions, including Milan, Italy's business center. No one will be able to leave or enter the region for weeks. At a U.S. military base in Naples, a junior officer became the first U.S. serviceman in Europe to test positive for the virus. Across the world, there are now more than 105,000 cases of the virus in at least 95 countries, with more than 3,500 deaths. In southeast China, at least seven people are dead after a hotel being used as a coronavirus quarantine center collapses. It's about 600 miles from Wuhan, the center of the virus's outbreak. 70 people were trapped. Emergency officials say 43 people have been rescued. More than 800 firefighters responded to search for survivors. Crews don't know the cause of the hotel's collapse. A woman is killed after being hit by a DDOT bus on Detroit's west side. It happened last night on West Outer Drive near Asbury Park. One witness tells us the woman was walking across the street. A nurse assistant for Beaumont Hospital saw what happened and jumped in to try to help her. She, she had a pulse and it went away. That's when I... Uh perform compressions. Detroit police tell us they are still investigating the cause of the deaths. Now to Decision 2020. Michigan is in the political spotlight this weekend. Our primary is on Tuesday and the Democratic candidates are working to win votes. Bernie Sanders will be making another two stops today in his fight to be Joe Biden. Sanders will be making stops in Grand Rapids and Ann Arbor today. He then will make a stop in Flint on Monday. Former Vice President Joe Biden's camp is also focusing on Michigan with campaign events by surrogates this weekend. John Kerry in Detroit Saturday meeting with workers at Motor City Casino. Kerry has endorsed Biden. He says Biden would be good for Michigan because of his record of getting things done with infrastructure and trade. Today is International Women's Day and there are plenty of events being held to push female empowerment. Woman Run Detroit is holding its first ever event at the Eastern Inn Detroit at four with speakers talking about gender equality. Zingerman's Bakehouse in Ann Arbor is hosting a panel and networking event at 1.30 on female entrepreneurship. Also, the Science Center is free to all women today. They hope to support and inspire women and young girls in STEM Felds. Still ahead on Local 4 News today. It's the only one of its kind in all of North America and it's right here in Detroit. Take a special look inside Belle Isle's Livingstone Memorial Lighthouse in today's Uniquely Detroit. 